Okay, I'm at 22 Natalie Road, and this is the home of Dan and Diane? Diane, Carrie. Yeah. Carrie, okay. And uh, I just got an email today from Dan, and he told me that he's got a problem with his grinder pump. And the problem is that there's water bubbling out of the ground uh, next to his grinder pump. The grinder pump actually looks fine, but you can actually see the fl water flowing right now, and I guess Diane's running the water. So the grinder pump is trying to pump water out, and it looks like there's a leak in the discharge hose. That's what it looks like. And the reason is because on the grinder pump over here, this is this side of the grinder pump is where it comes in from the house. The other side of the grinder pump is where the discharge hose comes out. And I guess Dan knows that when this comes out, it turns this way. Right. Is that it? Yeah. And that's basically where that outlet hose would turn. Although it's four feet underground, it would be right under here where this water is bubbling up. So now you called Weston and Samson. I did. What they say? Uh, they came out um, uh, first thing this morning about 11 o'clock. Yep. And they uh, opened up the grinder pump. Uh, I showed them the water going, and he said, "Okay, the grinder pump and the motor looks fine. Um, he believes it's a, a crack. He thought it was a fitting. Yeah, uh, a fitting. Yep. Because he wasn't sure what was in the ground. Right. It was cracked. Uh, he said that sometimes happens. He's seen several of them. Yeah. In, in Chelmsford. Right. Right. Yeah, I've heard other grinder pump owners also reported similar symptoms and it turns out to be a crack under there and the interesting thing about this is uh, we don't know exactly how frequently this happens but i noticed that your installation was in 2011 right. so it's been in here for about six years yeah, six years in may yeah and um the thing about this is this is not covered by the grinder pump program and the reason is because the grinder pump program is limited to the grinder pump itself it doesn't cover uh the pipes that go the from the house into the grinder pump. And it also doesn't cover the pr pressure pipe as it comes out. And um, there's probably no easy way to explain this, but the program act basically just had some parameters. And the argument was that everybody has a pipe that runs from their house to the street, even if they're on gravity, and they have to repair their own pipe. So the grinder pump owner should have to repair his own pipe. But what's different about that is because because this discharge pipe is under pressure it's possible it's quite possible that this is more likely to fail than a regular gravity pipe where the water is just flowing through it and so this could be a burden on a grinder pump owner which is um, you know not parallel by a uh, by anything that would correspond to gravity and our homeowners might end up just basically being stuck with these bills now you did you call your installer um, I did. They haven't ret call, returned my phone call. Yet. Okay, so we'll be interested in trying to hear what you find out, and we'll, I'll be um, trying to keep in touch with you to find out exactly how your case progresses. Okay, excellent. So we can find out what the cost of it is, maybe why it happened, is a way to avoid it from happening, and things like that. So thank you very much, thank you. and we'll talk to you later.